They lied to you for decades. They told you to eat six small meals a day. It'll speed up your metabolism, they said. It'll keep your body from going into starvation mode. But guess what? That's not how your metabolism actually works. Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Hampton, a board certified obesity and family medicine doc with a master's in nutrition and functional medicine. And today we're diving into the real science of intermittent fasting. Why it's one of the most powerful tools for fat loss, energy, and longevity. No gimmicks, no fluff, just the truth about what happens inside your body when you stop eating a few hours. And trust me, you don't wanna miss this. But stay to the end because I promise you, you'll be trying intermittent fasting by the time I'm done. But I'll need your help if you've tried intermittent fasting before and have seen great results. So share your stories in the video comments. But let's get one thing straight. Intermittent fasting is not a diet. It's a pattern of eating. It's about controlling when you eat, not what you eat. Think about it. Our ancestors didn't have refrigerators, grocery stores, and they definitely didn't have Uber Eats. They hunted, they feasted, and then they went hours, sometimes days without food. And you know what? They didn't drop dead from starvation mode either. Instead, they thrived. But today we're told to eat constantly, to snack between meals, and never let ourselves get hungry. Meanwhile, obesity, diabetes, and metabolic disease are at an all-time high. Something doesn't add up. So let's talk about the three metabolic states. Your body is always in one of these three states. The first is the fed state, zero to four hours after eating. In this state, insulin is high, storing energy. Fasting state is when you're four to 24 hours after eating. In this state, insulin drops and fat burning begins. And finally, the starvation state, that's 24 hours after you've had your last meal. You could potentially be in deep autophagy in this stage, metabolic shifts occur, and even still cell regeneration occurs. But here's the biggest misconception. Fasting doesn't mean your body just shuts down. In fact, your metabolism doesn't slow down, it actually speeds up. One of the biggest lies they've told you is that fasting slows your metabolism. Here's the truth. Studies have shown that fasting can increase metabolism by up to 14%. Your body releases more norepinephrine, a fat burning hormone during fasting. Your growth hormone spikes, which is important because that preserves muscle and burns fat. And when you're always eating, your body relies on glucose or sugar for fuel. But when you fast, you switch to fat burning mode. Here's another concept. Insulin is the fat storage hormone. Every time you eat, especially carbs, your pancreas releases insulin. And insulin's job is to store energy. So if insulin is high all the time, your body stays in store mode. If insulin drops, your body switches to burn mode. When you fast, insulin plummets and unlocks stored fat for energy. That's why intermittent fasting is so powerful. It forces your body to burn its own fat. Now let's talk about the fuel switch. When you fast, your body runs out of glucose within 12 to 24 hours. What happens next? Your liver starts converting stored fat into ketones, a superior fuel for the brain and muscles. This is why people say they feel sharper, more energetic, and less hungry once they adapt to fasting. You're literally running on a cleaner, more efficient fuel source. Let's talk a little bit about autophagy. In 2016, a scientist won the Nobel Prize for discovering autophagy, which is your body's way of cleaning out old and damaged cells. When you fast, your body recycles damaged proteins. It destroys precancerous cells and it repairs your DNA. That's why fasting isn't just for weight loss, it's for longevity, disease prevention, and better overall health. Here's another lie. Fasting makes you lose muscle. Nope. When you fast, growth hormone levels can increase up to five times. What happens? Fat loss accelerates, muscle is preserved, and recovery improves. Let's talk about chronic inflammation, which is the root cause of most diseases. Fasting naturally lowers inflammation markers and gives your gut time to reset. That means less bloating, better digestion, and reduce risk of chronic diseases. Now let me take a moment to address some of the concerns you may have about intermittent fasting. The first concern, won't I get super hungry? Hunger isn't an emergency, it's just a hormonal adjustment. Once insulin and ghrelin stabilizes, fasting actually makes hunger less frequent. The second concern, Will it slow my metabolism? I had to bring this up again. Fasting speeds up your metabolism. It's chronic calorie restriction that slows it down, not fasting. So if you've been struggling with weight, 
energy or metabolic health issues, fasting is one of the simplest, most effective tools you can use. No gimmicks, no expensive supplements, just timing your meals strategically. So do me a favor, if you've tried intermittent fasting, drop a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with someone who still thinks breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I'm Dr. Hampton, and I'll see you in the next video.